Hey crafty friends, it's Joy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing Spellbinder's Glimmer Kit of the Month for September 2022. And I don't know about you, but I love hot foiling. I do love the Glimmer Kits because you do get your Glimmer Plates and you get a roll of foil every single month. So you get quite the collection. So here is this beautiful kit. You have this shape here that you're going to need to do twice because it's going to create a diamond in the center. You have sentiment, you have some a flower and a leaf that you can foil along with a coordinating die, and then another like little die cut um, flower type thing. I did not use that. Okay, I have my Simon Says Stamp 100 and... 20 pound cardstock. Sorry, I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm making hinges for my foil pieces. This is the foil that comes with it. It looks like a copper to me. It's super, super pretty. And I decided to definitely use that. Sometimes when I use the kits, I don't always use the foil because I love the Aura foil so much, which I did bring in and use a little bit, but I'm going to try to be better <laughs> and use different colors of foil. So I'm trimming out my pieces. I do have a foil trimmer, but I just was feeling lazy today and not using it. I said that on another video because I was making all these cards in the same day. And so I was feeling lazy that day. <laughs> so I'm going to tuck my foil underneath. I do have my glimmer system heating up. I am going to tuck this big piece under here. And remember, we need to foil this twice to put this whole little scene together. I'm also going to foil more flowers and leaves, but I'm just going to show you this first one because you don't need to see me do it again. I'm going to push my little button there. Once it's solid, I'm going to pull this out of my docking station, add my plates and shims, run that through my Platinum 6 die cut machine, nice and slow. I like to do it forward and back. And then I am going to redock this because I do need to foil the sentiment. So I don't want this to cool down all the way. I'm going to lift this up and then we can see that we've got some beautiful foiled images, except for my first little leaf was like off to the side of my paper. So like I said, we're going to do that again, but I'm not going to show you that on camera. I am going to use the coordinating dies to die cut these images out and then I can foil my sentiment. I needed to do this so I knew exactly where to put my sentiment because I'm gonna line it up in such a way that I can trim it out from behind that kind of frame piece, which you guys will see here in just a little bit. So definitely hang tight to see how this comes together because it is so pretty. So here's the sentiment. I just, I, first I was at the top of this paper and I was like, no, that's not gonna work. So I slid it down further. This is where I'm gonna use the Aura foil and it says, I am thankful for all you do, which is super sweet. And we're going to do some Copic coloring over the foiling. So, or through the foiling or whatever you want to call it. But that's how we're going to get the colors on our images. I'm going to put this on the machine, do everything exactly the same, run it through, peel it back. And we've got a fantastic sentiment. Now let's color these leaves. I decided to use red, orange, and yellow. I do have a little bit of green for those tiny leaves, but I'm going to color this the same. So on the two pieces, each leaf is going to be colored the same. I have three colors of red. I'm sorry if I didn't put the cap there. Some of these caps got in the view, out of the view, but I use R35, 37, and 39 for this color combination which I really love for a good red. And for some reason, it just kind of looks purpley on here when usually it doesn't look purpley, but I love how it turned out. So I'm gonna do that on these other small little leaves here. And I'm just gonna blend it out like I normally do. I am coloring over some of the foil, which I will just gently wipe off. You could see there with a dry rag, but I don't wanna rub hard because I don't wanna rub any of the foil off, but I'm just gonna gently dab it and that seemed to work. Then we've got some pretty, or pretty oranges here. I almost said ours, pretty oranges here. And I'm gonna blend that out. And I think the oranges pop the most on this. I think it's so, so pretty against that coppery looking foil. So I'm going to finish blending those. And as you can see, some of these images, I think there is two that it's more foil than coloring, like the one I'm coloring right here, which I think is really, really pretty. So it adds just a different look to, what, uh, to a more of an open leaf than a closed leaf. Then we've got the yellows again. And then I'm going to come back in with um, orange on that small little guy here. 
I'm gonna use the same colors for the other flowers. Oh, that's how it goes together, isn't that cool? Okay, I'm gonna use the same colors for these flowers and I, like I said, I will be doing a green for the leaves and for the centers of the flower. So I'm doing one red, one orange, and one yellow, keeping it really, really cohesive. And then I can come in with that green, keeping it super simple. This is YG 67, 63, and 61. I'm kind of obsessed with this green color combination. Okay, foam tape behind these two diamonds. And off camera, I was messing around with a little bit of how to get them the right shape. And I tried to do them independently, but it didn't work. So I'm adding a little bit of glue on two of the areas where they connect. And I'm just going to slightly overlap it and hold that in place because that made it a lot more simpler to get this with the right spacing, top and bottom, left to right. Even then, it still took me a second to get it figured out. I still had to peel it up and do it again. So remember, there's foam tape behind this. And it's a little bit off so i'm like one more time hopefully this will work but when i was trying to do it when they were not hooked together you guys it was a joke and i know it's me and i was just struggling and i'm like this is not <laughs> this is not working but now i think i i have it now so i put that down in place and then i can just trim from underneath that excess white cardstock that's sticking out around it which to me was like the simplest quickest way and it's popped up from the background. And what's also cool about this, because I'm gonna do some embossing for the complete background, but the sentiment part is going to be white. The background part is white, but the sentiment doesn't have any embossing marks. So I feel like that looks kind of, kind of cool. Let's add these flowers and leaves. All of them are gonna have some foam tape because I just love to mention. So I'm gonna add two flowers down here, one at the top, kind of at a diagonal. And then I've got three leaves that are also gonna have foam tape, but I'm going to adhere those directly to that white part of this image, the white sentiment part. So they'll be a little bit lower than the flowers, but still popped up from the background. And then one more leaf, and I can pop that in place. Okay, so I'm using the embossing folder of the month for September, 2022. With white cardstock, I'm gonna run that through, and I'm actually gonna flip it over and use the back side. So the debossed side is the side that I wanna use for this background. I felt like it looked really, really cool. I'm just gonna make my A2 size background real quick, pop that on, and then that's gonna go right in the center. And I love these fall colors popped up against that white. I feel like they just stand out so much. And then you have the foiling over top and it is just gorgeous. I do want to bring in a little bit of gold foil confetti, of course, because you guys know me. I love this. This is from Studio Katya. I'm going to add a few of those around and I kind of add them in a triangular kind of shape because it's just more pleasing to the eye and in odd numbers. So I'm going to add a few of those. And then this card is completely finished and look at how pretty it is against that floral background that's embossed. But I love the debossed side so much. And then the foil of this image is so vibrant. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I hope that you feel inspired. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Have a wonderful night. Bye.